All right, we're back with another video here. We got the dub wheels. What kind of wheel do you guys think it is? It's open. As you can probably see, it is the dub goats. So I actually love this finish on the goats. It's the uh, brush uh, with the silver. Uh, this vehicle be, is an old school car. We're gonna be getting it on Monday, so there's no tire pressure sensors. So I'm gonna mount them up and balance them so they're ready for Monday. I got the BMW in here. We can smell some antifreeze. All right, so we're back today and we got the dub goats. We got them all mounted up and balanced and they're going on, bam, this Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. Now this classic car, who remembers these cars? Supreme SL, a two door. Looks all original on here. We're gonna be putting the 22s on there. I do have to check this one's kind of different because I have to, well, the strut tower is up a little, so I got to see if it clears it. If not, we have to modify it. The strut is a little bit different. It comes in two pieces. Uh, so there's like a middle portion and an outer portion, and then I'd have to modify it so I could fit the 22s underneath there. Look at a cool paint on here, too. Looks like there was a bra on here. Got the tinted windows. Remember these door handles? Classic car. Did a couple of these that they made in convertibles too. Oldsmobile. A lot of this new generation don't even know what Oldsmobile cars are because <laughs> they've been discontinued for a while. Let's take a look at the interior. Man, it's like mint inside here. I forgot he said he got pretty low miles on this thing too. You got the Pioneer flip out. You got the floor shifter. Yeah, this interior. Oh, remember these? These are the glove box that goes up and down. <laughs> Look at that owner's manual and everything. I think these got the nice roof inside there. I think these came with a 3.4 inside here. Oh, let me see. Where's the hook release? Yeah, it's old school cars. Forget to where the hood release comes. Take a look. Uh, this side. Always make it difficult on these cars. Well, what do you guys think in this Cutlass Supreme? Let me, I'll go through it and then when uh, we put the wheels on there, we'll check out the motor. Um, I can't find the hood latch. All right, so stay tuned. We're going to paint his calipers a special color. And then we're going to take it for right, make sure everything's good. Uh, it's sitting up pretty good. I don't know if I have to put boosters into the springs to lift it up in the back. Well, stay tuned and we'll find out and go from there. All right, so we got the Oldsmobile Cutlass. And bam, we got the Dub Goats. The brush with the silver. We got the drilled and slotted rotors in the back. Got the nice purple caliper. We did have to do a little bit of customization on here to fit them in there with the plastic inside the wheel well. The strut actually cleared. Look how clean this thing is. 
What do you guys think in the comment section? 22 inch dub goats in the silver. I always like this finish. I think they were saying they might be discontinuing it, this finish, but they still had them. But what do you guys think in the comments section? Oh, I did open, uh, was able to finally open the, the door, uh, the hood. It was right here. <laughs> I forgot. It's been a while since these. Let's see what motor's in here. I think these came with 3.1s and 3.4s. Both were good motors. Bam! 3.1 V6. Out of Grand Am's, Grand Prix's. Actually, I think this one was better. The 3.4 was bigger, but I think it had more problems. But yeah, there's a lot of cars. Corsicas, how many Buicks and all that stuff, V6s. Yeah, good motors. How clean this thing is. What do you guys think in the comment section? Uh, maybe I'll have some footage of it rolling too later when he comes by. So we'll stay tuned for that. I'm going to take it for a ride and make sure everything's good with the turning radius. Uh, the rear end is sitting up higher right now because it was on the lift, so I'm sure it's going to go down more. Uh, we'll take it for a ride and make sure everything's perfect on there. So stay tuned. All right, so we got the Oldsmobile. We actually finished it last night. But uh, James came back and I needed to get a video and I forgot to get the video like I promised. So we got it in here. A 22 inch dub goats. Looking good. The purple calipers, drilled rotors. It's got the nice tinted windows. All right, James, let's see him rolling with this thing. Look at those. Dub goats chopping. He's got an exhaust. He got an exhaust on there too, right? Yeah. I think the Flowmasters? Something like that. Yeah, that thing sounds good. It's got like a stock looking tip on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of the dub goats? I told him, dude. I think a car looks aggressive. Yeah. That's no more a grandma's car, right? No. <laughs> See, chrome would have been too much, dude. I'd chrome would be a little too much on there. Those are perfect. Look at that thing, chopping. Chopping. <laughs> what do you guys think in the comment section? The dub goats with the brush with the silver and the Oldsmobile Cutlass. In like mint condition. All right, appreciate it. Stay tuned for more builds. All right, so we got this Ram truck here. And we got, bam, we got these KMC wheels here. I think I did these about a year ago for him. Uh, these are 22 by 12s with 37, 13 and a half 22s. It's got the Delente tires, but you can see how bald the tires are. Uh, we, I believe we did this, yeah, Rough Country lift kit on there. I believe this is a 5-inch. Kind of cool with the graphics. It says Power Wagon. Got the graphics all the way through it. What do you guys think in the vinyl? Got it all the way on the back here, too. Turn out the license plate. All right, so we're gonna be doing uh, new tires on here because these tires are bald. Now all the people for winter time are getting the tires. Uh, he went with the uh, Americus tire here, uh, the rugged MT. Let's just put it next to it so you can see the difference between his bald tire and the difference in this thread. And this is the same thread. Wow, what a difference, huh? Yep, he's slipping and sliding. Um, I think he's from like about an hour and a half away, so dropped off the truck. So let's get it, let's get it going, and we'll get them all cleaned up and show you pictures and a video on there. All right, so we're back on day two of the Ram. Oh, I didn't even know he's got cool uh, vinyl on the top here, a matte black with the red stripe, with the red grill. We got the red hooks on there. And bam, we got the XD wheels. So we got them all cleaned up. 
this one was hard. There's one, uh, one of the screws um, actually was stripped and it was seized inside there. So I had to actually cut it off and redo it on there. Uh, it's on the bottom. So. But what do you guys think of the candy apple red? The nice graphics. With the uh, 37, 13 and a half, 22, the Americus tires. That is the mud tire. So you can see how bald his tires were on there. Those were like cheater slicks. <laughs> but yeah, we got him right. Uh, we're going to take it for a ride. Uh, one of his sensors wasn't working, but he wasn't too worried about it. Uh, what happens on these sensors, uh, they usually have a battery life of five to seven years. <clears throat> and after the five and seven years, the battery goes out. Uh, and you can't replace the battery, you got to replace the whole sensor. So this one wasn't scanning, so one of his sensors. On this vehicle, you can't see, so if one of them isn't working, all of them aren't going to say anything on there, too. So he wasn't worried about it, so we'll get him on the road. We're going to take it for a ride, make sure everything clears perfectly, and it'll be all set. All right, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll get some driving footage of this truck, too.